This tutorial will illustrate how to create braces in SAP 2000 that carry tension loads only, no compression, although the same technique could be used to define compression only members as well. By definition, this is a nonlinear analysis, and although it is nonlinear, this type of analysis may be done in any of the three SAP 2000 versions basic, plus, or advanced. First, we add braces to the model using the quick draw braces command. Next, we add a lateral load of 10 kips in the X direction at the top level. The next step is to select the two braces that we do not wish to carry any compression loads. And using the Tension Compression Limits command, assign them a compression limit equal to zero. This will prohibit these braces from carrying any compression load. Now we are ready to run the analysis. We will shut the modal case off as we want only the static lateral case to be analyzed. Note that it is linear static. Once the analysis is complete, we will display the axial forces in the model for our lateral load. Note that all the braces have axial loads, including significant compression loads in the braces we previously assigned a compression limit of zero to. How come? Well, in order for the compression limit to work, we need to run a nonlinear analysis. To do this, we will unlock the model and go to the Define Analysis Cases command. Select the lateral load analysis case and click the Modify button. We will leave the analysis case type as static but switch from linear to nonlinear. Because we are now doing a nonlinear analysis, all combinations should be defined at the analysis case level rather than using combinations which are typically appropriate only for linear analyses. Next, we rerun the analysis. This time, when we display the axial forces, note that the braces that previously carried compression now have no forces. A right click on one of these braces shows an axial force of virtually zero. Again, the tension compression limit option is available in all three versions of SAP 2000, but in order for it to work, the analysis must be done as nonlinear. This concludes this tutorial.